Hi everyone, thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is Jian. Today I prepared buttercream palette knife painting. I'm going to make this autumn floral bouquet by using only three food coloring gels. Yellow, red, and blue. You will see white food coloring on my palette as well, but I didn't really use white food coloring. Instead of white, our buttercream will be the great replacement for the white food coloring. With red and blue color, I made this dark lavender color. I started to cover the top part of my cake and half of my cake body. In the same container, I add more buttercream and add small amount of yellow food coloring gel. And it turned out to a nice, soft, grayish olive color. I covered the rest of the cake with this soft olive color and I started to using bench scraper to add ombre effect on the cake. Whenever you're using this metal bench scraper, make sure the blade is 90 degree from the turntable. And I like to use this pointy offset spatula to clean up the edges and the top of my cake. If you have some small spot to fill it up, make sure to go over with the bench scraper and clean the edges again. Now this is the fun part. I'm going to make some colors by using only three food coloring gel. Blue, red, and yellow. I also add this white food coloring gel on my palette but I didn't really use it so I don't really recommend you to have it on your palette and it doesn't really mix well with the buttercream. I started with a small amount of food coloring and tested out the colors and then I started to add two different food colorings in my buttercream and I also made a darker tone colors and my palette was full already. I'm going to make more colors while adding the petals and painting with the buttercream. So if you have like five, six colors on your palette, you are ready to go. From here, you'll see my entire steps of buttercream flower palette knife painting. I tried to focus on the mood and the entire color balance. So you'll see more colors here and there. And I didn't really focus on the small details. So it's more about the shapes and the color balance and it came out pretty good like an abstract painting so i hope you guys enjoy watching this video if you have any questions please leave it in the below comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you want to see more tutorials please subscribe my channel i'll see you in the next video